Well, it's official for sure that Blaze Big Nell for Tennessee Men's Tennis will not play this year. It's because he played two matches at Florida in September, which I'm not shocked because I know that rule exists because of Baylor Women's Tennis last year didn't have Isabel Harvison, who transferred from Alabama, but played at Alabama. So, yeah. So, what does that mean in terms of singles lineup for Tennessee? Certainly won't be as strong this year as it could have been. That's obvious for starters, I mean. And Martin Prada for, for Tennessee men's tennis hasn't played all weekend in ITA kickoff weekend due to injury. He has not played much due to injury. So, you know, that moves up a few, some guys up more. Up, like from four through six in the normal lineup would be a number three, and their number seven guy would be their number six or number eight to number six. It doesn't really matter. So, I definitely know what Blaze Bennell not there is gonna hurt a little bit, but I'm not saying their lineup is gonna, gonna be terrible by any stretch because it's a solid one through six if Martin Prada gets healthy and gets back in the rhythm, but without him. It kind of makes them more, without Martin Prada, it makes them a little more vulnerable at number six. I mean, that's the thing. It's a still a solid one through five. I mean, you got Adam Walden at one or two. You got Johannes Monday at one or two. You got Emil Hud at number three. You got Angel Diaz at number four. And you have Sunsuki Mitsui at number five. Number six is anybody's game. But, you know. And I'll tell you something. If Martin Prado, Martin Prado would be a core three player for Tennessee if he was healthy. Just imagine. Then all you have to do is just shift three through five, what I said, down one spot. Then that would be would be a solid one through six, but it, of course we'll see if when he Martin probably gets back healthy. In terms of next year, not to look too far ahead, they're definitely going to lose Adam Wallen and they're going to lose Mark Walner, who is like more like a double specialist. Though he could play number six if he needs to, but that's two guys for sure. But they could lose Emil Hud, who might not come back for his last year of eligibility. Because of COVID. Same with part Pat Harper and Martin Prada, like I said. So, yeah, it's up to five guys they could lose. But we'll see in the offseason. At least two, but maybe up to five. And I'm not going to say Johannes Monday is going to not leave either. Because he could turn pro if he wants. But we'll, we'll wait and see. As for this year... Sure, they got TCU and National Indoors today in a championship match. But the po that's another po that's a possible loss, and the Tennessee's already lost once. They could lose to Mississippi State at Mississippi State. They could lose at Ole Miss at Ole Miss. South Carolina's nearly scared them in National Indoors. They Sure, South Carolina lost doubles point, but they claimed five first sets on Tennessee. You got Florida, obviously, but that's in Knoxville. You got Georgia in Knoxville. I'm not, A&M shouldn't beat Tennessee. LSU shouldn't beat Tennessee. Arkansas, they beat them last year, unexpectedly, but we'll see about this year. Kentucky has a really good team this year. Top 15, top 12 for sure. With a solid one-two punch. And one through four, honestly. And that's probably the only times they're going to lose. No offense to Auburn, Alabama, Vanderbilt. That's the only other ones they could lose. But I'm not going to say they're going to lose every single one. But I think they will drop at least a two. One or two. Or three, even. We'll wait and see what happens. I just want to give a quick update and I like and subscribe if you haven't already and and let's get and be up to four hundred subscribers or more by the end of this year.